Love is the force we all call God. Some call it just, some call it a love. Just accepting to live in harmony together is an act of love. I am Mr. Flavor, and I am telling you, Boss Radio plays nothing but the best music. And a lawyer on our way to Cameroon. Your life is ruined in a stinking garoon. Your mother and a sister will be buried in the tomb. What make you pull a trigger and look at the Buddha trigger bomb? But the Buddha could have a shamakon and let the teacher come at me. What you gonna do? 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 What <laughs> but speaking of messages, you know, I got to bring y'all one tonight, man, because we got to talk about this. But, you know, I just want to make sure that y'all understand that, you know, 
what's really going on right now because a lot of people don't understand what's really going on right now so we're going to be talking about exactly what's going on right now so i hope y'all pay attention tune in turn up zone out baby is going down this is reggae hour we're going to keep y'all with some of the best reggae in the underground scene so you're going to go ahead and keep it moving with ja real the artist featuring melody king you heard me and uh before i do that follow us Hit that link if you check this out on uh, Facebook. If you see me on Facebook, on my new page on Facebook, click that link because they're going to delete me again after this one. It's going to be the third one in, in less than a month. Third page going in less than a month. They ain't playing with me. But I'm trying to get y'all to go ahead and follow us. Uh, hit that follow button. You can hit If you ain't listening to us, if you didn't click that link on Facebook and you're listening uh, through our website, follow our website, www.sbcmovement.com. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, but also go to our radio station hub at www.spreaker, that's Spreaker.com, backslash MR underscore E, or just Google B-O-S-S radio, B.O.S.S.Radio, in this motherfucker, you know what I'm talking about. Go ahead and click that follow button. That way you can become a follower of BOS's radio so that when they do delete me for Facebook for talking the real shit that y'all need to be hearing. Because, you know, they fact check everybody else. They'll block everybody else for 30 days. Me, they delete me. I don't even get a 30-day chance. <laughs> I don't even know where they get that from, but... They, people be talking about, I'm out of Facebook jail. Nigga, how was that like? I get the needle every time. They put my ass to sleep, and then they put that needle in my arm and give me that shit that put me forever night-night. <laughs> they don't want me on Facebook, but see me, I'm like a roach. I'm going to never die. You spray me with Raid all you want. I'm going to come back stronger next time, nigga. Fuck that shit. <laughs> But yes, go ahead and follow us there. Uh, you can also find us, especially black people, if you're looking for me, you can find me on Bleckham. That's B as in Bravo, L, Lima, K, Kilo, M, Mary, E. No, I, I did that all wrong. Let me do B-L-K-E-M dot com backslash at sign M-R underscore E. That way you can go ahead and find out what we're doing over there because we're doing some big things over there. I mean, it's up and it's being developed. Y'all just hold on because it is being developed and it's going to be the shit when it's done. Especially if we can get uh, all our people on board with it and they can actually, you know, actually support it. You know, come through and support it like y'all support Facebook. When they making money off y'all naked photos and shit like that, y'all ain't making that money. You, you go on Facebook trying to promote your OnlyFans. Come on, black them. Not to promote only fans though. Don't don't do that. Don't do that. Stay keep that on Facebook. You got Facebook for that. Blackham though is for upbuilding the black community. You know, but you uh, everybody else though, y'all can find me on Snapchat at Southside Bosses. You can find me on Tumblr at Southside Bosses. You can also find me on Instagram and uh, uh, Twitter. Twitter, you can find me at SBC Movement, and you can also find me at G-U-T-T-A underscore B-A-B-Y. But that's enough talking, man. Let me go ahead and keep it moving. This is Ja Real, the artist featuring Melody King. Oh, father, oh, father, oh, father, oh, father. Thank you, Ja Ja, for this opportunity. you put on me thank you Jaja because without you I cannot see every time I wake up you are there every time I go to sleep you are there every time I turn around you are there my father is around me I live to wake up to praise you I live to wake up to heal you To wake up, cause my father so true. Thank you, Father, for this opportunity. Thank you, Jaja, for the time you have given me. Thank you, Jaja, for the blessing you put on me. Thank you, Father, because without you, I cannot see. 
confident that my father will never leave me there I'm confident whenever I'm down he bring me up I'm confident for my father's love I live to wake up to praise you I live to wake up to hail you I live to wake up to thank you I live to wake up cause my father should show confident thank you father for this opportunity Thank you Jaja For the time you have given me Thank you Jaja For the blessings upon me Thank you Jaja Because without you I cannot see Every time I wake up you are there to sleep you are there yeah. every time I turn around you are there my father is around me I live to wake up to praise you I live to wake up to hail you I live to wake up to thank you my father he is so true thank you Jaja for this opportunity yeah. Thank you, Father, for the blessings you put on me. Yeah. Thank you, Jaja, for the love you gave me. Cause thank you, Father, because without you I cannot see it.
as me. BOSS Radio, Southside Bosses, its owners and associates take no responsibility for the opinions or statements made by the talk show host or their guests. Statements or show topics are not necessarily the beliefs of the site or the radio station, and opinions between talk show hosts may conflict. This site does not endorse anything as the truth that you will have to judge for yourself. But we try to speak the truth on the owner's behalf and reserve the right to question the supposed truth. In this time of misinformation, government controlled media, and government corruption, it is sometimes hard to get to the truth, but we must try. It is not our intention to libel, discriminate, make hate, or annoy anyone. We believe that it is our constitutional First Amendment right of free speech to voice our opinions and our duty to the Constitution and country to expose the truth. This site takes no responsibility for the opinions of others and the postings of comments in chat rooms or forum posts. As Mr. Flavor, I am proud to bring to you Mr. E's Music Maestro. I'm here, baby. I'm here. I'm right here with you. And that deal which I just got through listening to was Kapow with Irie Vibes. And you know, usually uh, Irie Vibes stand for something. If y'all know, if y'all know rosters, if you know rosters, then you know what Irie Vibes stand for. If you don't know what Irie Vibes stand for, let me educate you. Irie Vibes stands for something that's nice, uh, good, or you know, pretty much giving their sense of their, their, their stamp of approval on it. You know, Irie Vibes. You know, so uh, it, it, I know what you're thinking. Well, why would he play that right before he come on? Well, I got to let you know something. Everything going to be all right. I know we're going through a hard time. 2020 was a motherfucker to all of us. I'm talking about it was hell for all of us. Not all of us. Obviously not all of us. And that's what we want to talk about tonight. Because obviously 2020 wasn't that bad for everybody. Why do I say that? Maybe because you got bitch McConnell. Excuse me. Mitch McConnell. In the Senate right now, keeping the United States people sitting on the edge of their seats, waiting for some kind of relief while you have people actually facing eviction, being put out on the streets in the midst of a pandemic. This motherfucker has been holding up shit since the beginning. Since the fucking beginning. If it wouldn't have been for the CARES Act being... Um, you know, I don't know if y'all know the history of the CARES Act. You know, the CARES Act that they actually uh said that they passed in March. They didn't pass it in March. They released it in March. They passed it in January of 2019, when Mitch McConnell could not obviously know that the coronavirus was going to happen. The COVID-19 was going to decimate the United States population the way that it did. You know, he didn't think that that was going to happen, so he blindly. Agreed to it. Like, we're never going to use this. We're going to actually do We ain't going to need this shit. No, man. Fuck that. No, all right. I'll let it go. Just one less thing off my plate. I'll let them deal with it. And they passed it in that way. But that's why when it happened, you know, we was able to get the CARES Act immediately passed, immediately taken care of. But if bitch, excuse me, Mitch McConnell would have known that the coronavirus was going to happen, then I don't think he would have actually let that shit go. Why I say that? Hmm. You ain't been watching lately. You ain't been looking at them lately. You ain't been seeing what Congress has been doing lately. Which leads me to a question I have to ask. Kentucky, what the hell was you thinking about voting this motherfucker in again? It got to be something about Kentucky we don't know. Maybe Kentucky is a rich state. I think all the rich people come from Kentucky. Got to be. Because they're the only ones that's obviously not concerned too much about what's going on with the American people. And I say that in full confidence because of the simple fact people have been hurting out here. People have been dying out here. People are now facing eviction five days, six days after Christmas. On the seventh day after Christmas, these fuckers gave to me an eviction notice. I don't know. I should have came up with this earlier. I should have wrote this down. Damn. Anyways, you know what the hell I'm getting at. Yes, people are facing eviction six days after fucking Christmas. One day, the first day of the year. 
The first day of the year, people are facing homelessness. People who never even been in this position before. Thank God I've, I was raised in this position. So I was able to survive. Shit, I was able to survive. <laughs> I was, I was, I thank, thank the universe, you know, thank the heavens. Because I, I don't think if I was raised any different, I wouldn't have made it. A lot of people, a lot of y'all out there, y'all not going to make it after January 1st. You're not going to know what to do. And I feel for you. I honestly feel for you. I'm not picking on you. You ain't supposed to know. This was not supposed to happen. If you was paying, if you was actually taking care of business and then this coronavirus came out of nowhere and just rocked your boat, that's not your fault. You ain't the one to be blamed. So why is bitch McConnell, you know, I ain't even apologizing. I ain't even changing it. Bitch McConnell. Why is he acting like it's our fault that we're suffering the way we suffering? What do I mean? By the way, what, hey, what are you talking about? What, what did Bitch McConnell do? Well, for one, he has been stopping a second stimulus package, a second relief bill for the whole, almost the whole fucking 2020. At least half of it. At the very least, half of it. And it's just that just goes to show you exactly what is going on here. He don't give a fuck about the poor. He don't give a fuck about the middle class because he's good. He's good. They about to go on fucking Christmas break. They about to go on New Year's break. They about to go spend time with their families. And if I know these Republicans like I know these Republicans, and I'm not talking about Republicans in general. I'm talking about these Republicans, the ones that go around without masks. The ones that go and hug, they grant, they can go hug their children and their, their grandchildren. You know, ones that don't have people that's in the hospital dying because you know what? We pay for their health insurance. So they got great health insurance. They got the president's type of health insurance. You see what happened with him? That motherfucker left the goddamn hospital early. Then went in the fucking White House and took off his mask like this ain't shit. Nigga, I wish I was that gangster, nigga. And I've been out from the streets. <laughs> I ain't even that gangster. I ain't finna play with that shit. Why? Because I got kids. One of them has severe persistent asthma. And I be goddamned if I put his life at risk just because I don't feel like this is going to, this is something that's detrimental. No, this is, if it ain't, I'm gonna treat it like it's detrimental. Why? Easy. Because of the simple fact that I have people that can die from this. My children just lost an uncle. That just goes to show you exactly how serious this is. But what do I mean by what, 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 bitch, what bitch McConnell doing now? Well, if you've been paying attention, then you obviously know that the uh, there was nine senators, four Democrats, four Republicans, and one independent got together to figure out what they can do to compromise and come up with a bill that would suit, satisfy everybody. So, if you remember back in October, Trump, uh, Nancy Pelosi said we need a two point two trillion dollar plan. I was all for that. You know, of course we was all for that. Of course the United States citizens was all for that. Of course the American people was all for that. But of course Donald Trump in the White House was like, "No, nah, that's too much. That's 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 too. We're giving too much. We're giving too much." Let's take four billion dollars, four hundred billion dollars off that. So they proposed one point eight trillion dollars, and you know we were so busy like, damn, Trump being a dick right now. Why the fuck he would take four hundred billion dollars off that? We didn't, we didn't even think about it. We should just take the one point eight and just run with it. We'll deal with the rest at a later time, right? So that was taken off the table. Mm hmm. Now, Mitch McConnell definitely didn't want to deal with that. He thought that was too much. He thought $1.8 trillion was too much. You know what he came with? You know what his number that he's sticking to? He ain't even compromising. He's sticking to this $500 billion uh, plan that he has. That shit sounds good. That number sounds good until you have to factor in 170 million, over 170 million American citizens. And... So many small businesses, so many corporate businesses, the travel agency, the air, uh, airplane, uh, the 
airport district is going, the flight industry is going down. Cruise industry is on the verge of bankruptcy. You know, um, gas it, prices have been fluctuating like a motherfucker. I know y'all been seeing it. 10 cents down here, 10 cents up there. You know, so trying to get some kind of relief would be real good. $500 billion do, doesn't do shit. For hundred over 180 million people, excuse me, over 180 million people, plus small businesses, schools, transportation, communications. Oh, what do I mean by communication? Well, a lot of people have free Wi-Fi right now because they have to do schooling from home. So the schools are now footing the bill for that. I don't think the schools should be foot, footing the bill for that. No, they have other shit to worry about, like teaching my children. Even though they are remote learning. They have too much to worry about. So I think that should be something the government deal with. But they said they was going to help our state and local government. So I think the state and local government should deal with that. Because uh, the, the the budget is different for each state. You know. Um, but $500, was a sh- $500 billion was a shit. That ain't no money when it comes to that many people. To me, if I had five hundred billion dollars, of course I would. I would not mind giving away four hundred and seventy-five billion dollars. I would. I would. If during this crisis, I would. I. I mean, that just the type of person that I am, the type of heart that I have. I would give away four hundred seventy-five billion dollars because I have twenty-five billion dollars to reinvest. Obviously, I made that five hundred billion dollars some way. So, as a single individual helping out the United States uh, citizens, that's a different story. But we talking about the United States government. This ain't even bitch McConnell's money. And he's trying to limit it to $500 million. When the nine senators, the bipartisan citizens, uh, the bipartisan, it was tripartisan. I don't even know why they call it bipartisan. It was tripartisan because, you know, that one independent. Anyways, they came up with a $908 billion plan to try to meet somewhere in the middle. Which is funny because, you know, that's roughly half, a little bit more than half of what Donald Trump offered. And I hate to say this, I know a lot of y'all don't like this motherfucker, but I'm kind of seeing, like, hey, go talk to Donald Trump about this $1.8 billion, trillion dollars, excuse me. Let's go talk to him about this $1.8 trillion. Because even though we have nine senators of different parties coming together saying, look, we have to do something for the American people right now. Bitch McConnell, like, no, that's, that's too much. Nigga, that's too much. How is that too much? I'm clipping like a motherfucker. Let me turn this mic down. But how is that too much? I'm just saying, explain that to me. Explain that to me on a third grade level how $908 billion is too much for 180 million people and all those other things I listed off. How? I don't understand it. Now we got to deal with this motherfucker for the next two years. We got to deal with them through this whole vaccine thing. After the vaccine thing, during the whole reconstructing of the United States uh, economy. I don't want to call it the reconstruction period. That's already taken. Go figure. Uh, And you know what I mean if you actually been paying attention to my shows. You know, if you ain't been paying attention to my shows, that's why you need to hit the follow button. Exactly. But just to think about the pain that the American people are going through, you have to actually understand that $500 billion, hell, $908 billion ain't even enough, but it's a start. It is a start. It's a way to get these small businesses up, back up and running, if they ain't up and running anymore. It's a way to save the small businesses that are up and running from closing. And as for the $1,200 stimulus checks, oh, guess what? That ain't happening anymore. Mm Mm-mm. Uh-uh. $600 a week for unemployment I, I ain't gonna lie I thought that was too much I thought they was actually doing that because of the rich people You know what I'm saying The ones that Not rich but well off Corporate people You know white collar people Who probably lost their jobs Or whatever happened to them You know I thought I thought that was more for them But everybody benefit from it So I don't, I'm not complaining I'm just saying I just thought they passed $600 Because of them Because now they got it down to $300 
it's it, it, like that's what the 908 billion dollar package is uh suggesting you know since they had to significantly cut it down to, in order to meet in the middle which was nowhere in nowhere near the fucking middle the meeting in the middle would have been one billion dollars and at the very least but they want to cut it down to three hundred dollars for the uh unemployment and that's per week so you still be getting twelve hundred dollars a month so what do i suggest uh, this is your time to hustle this is your time to hustle because they are they showing you they don't give a fuck they don't care and this is the funny part. Steve Mnuchin, this four-eyed motherfucker, he said that Trump would sign McConnell's new stimulus pack uh, proposal without checks or state and local aid. What the? F- See, now we done lost out our opportunity to pass to get that one point eight million billion, uh, one point eight trillion dollars. I gotta thank Nancy Pelosi for that because she didn't want to budge on that four hundred billion dollars. Fuck that. We could have got that 400 bit. See, we could have been doing this again right now. Everybody would have been at least a little bit more comfortable than we are now going into this so-called holiday season. And see, this is going to really hurt corporations because there's no money to be spending in the, on the corporation. But guess what? <laughs> it's funny how people was able to find money to buy that goddamn PS5, but they couldn't afford to buy their children fucking computers and shit for school. I thought that was real funny. But hey, what do I know? Hmm. It's up the lot that I know. But that just goes to show you right there that this the, the, the Congress is exactly that. It's not progress. It's Congress. You know, um, because we had an opportunity to make amends and, and, and meet and meet in more than the middle. I think 1.8 was a perfect compromise. It was. I think it was a perfect compromise, especially in the light of this $908 billion plan getting turned down by this fuck-ass senator. Kentucky, what the fuck was you thinking? What was you thinking? Nancy Pelosi, what was you thinking? I mean, y'all are out here trying to be so strong-willed, so strong-minded, that you're forgetting about the people that's actually suffering from depression the young kid, the young adults that are suffering from depression, they never been through any kind of a struggle. They just not getting out of college. They just not getting out of college and they were supposed to be going out into the workforce and making a life for themselves, doing something for themselves. But guess what? Now they can't. So and they don't know how to deal with that because all their life they was told go to college, come out, get a good job, and you will succeed. Ain't that a bitch? Wake up time. Got to get on y'all hustle. By this time, and you know, and I'm talking specifically to black people right now. We should have already knew the government wouldn't be giving a flying fuck about us. You see that black people and Latinos are dying at four times the rate than white people. So, I don't know if this virus was like, oh... Niggas, let me go over to that party. Niggas, you niggas always got this shit live. No, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, these motherfuckers Mexicans over here, and these Puerto Ricans over here, and these Colombians over here got this bitch lit. They got a motherfucking 12 cases of Modelo, nigga. They have it. I'm finna go get, I'm going to that party. COVID seems to be acting like that. Because apparently they don't like that white wine, that, that what is it, a white, white girl rose? No, they don't like that shit. Not at all. So we have a stalemate between the Congress and the White House because they don't want to compromise on 1.8. Bitch McConnell wants 500 billion, which ain't gonna do shit for the U.S. economy. I don't know. I mean, how did? How does? What is his mind on? I I haven't heard anybody report on. His view of how that $500 billion was going to help. Because they say they wanted to be more targeted. Targeted to what? Corporations? S-corporations? C-corporations? I don't even see LLCs benefiting off of the uh, $500, billion plan, uh, $500 billion plan. I don't even see that. What I do see is I see a lot of, a lot of unenergetic... Uh, and unenthusiastic, spoiled brats 
And just like Sasha said, I know, I'm a little late on it, baby. I see it, though. Yeah, that motherfucker's selfish. He's very selfish. And I don't think there's anything that we can do to bring him out of that selfishness. It's self for not electing him again. But you motherfuckers put him in there for another two years. Kentucky, I'm talking to you right now. In two years, remember this shit. And remember this. We, the whole country, is suffering because of your mistake. Yours. And if you are not paying attention, we'll 86 your ass from the union. We can deal with 50 states. Hell, we, shit, we only got 50 stars on that motherfucker anyways. Let's make Puerto Rico a goddamn state and get the, Kentucky, you your own goddamn country. Get the fuck on. I guarantee you, if Kentucky don't do it, guess who gonna do it? Texas may do that shit. (laughs) Hey, Texas ain't with that fuck shit. I don't get it. I honestly don't get how we how y'all thought that. Oh wait, he's holding up progress. So as long as we we let him hold up progress, he'll be able to uphold Congress, and the rest of the states are gonna fall behind. Putting Kentucky first, nigga. I thought we was all united in this shit. I thought we was all united in this motherfucker. But yet you. Threw us up under the bus. I don't know what Kentucky, what, what, what Mitch McConnell doing for Kentucky, but he must be sucking y'all off something good. Motherfucker spitting and swallowing, spitting and swallowing. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get it at all. I really don't, and I'm not understanding this. You know, these nine senators went through, like, they came together. They said, fuck being Democrats. Fuck being Republicans. Fuck being independents, nigga. We are United States citizens. We are Americans. And they say we're going to do something for the American people before Christmas. But even their plan doesn't really do anything for the American people. You still got people out here that's facing eviction. Y'all ain't in, y'all didn't implement that in y'all plan. Not from what I read. If I missed something and you listening right now, please comment and show me. Uh, where they, where, I may have missed it. I did I did hurry up and look through the plan real quick for about an hour before I came on. So I may have missed something. You know, these plans don't, they, I ain't, and, and it's really not enough time to actually look through an uh, uh, economic plan. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't have enough time. So maybe I missed that, but I damn sure didn't see it. I didn't see it, and I, didn't, I have not read a news article yet that talks about how, um, they are planning on helping out the United States citizens uh, when it comes to the evictions. You know, they, the CDC put out a, a moratorium that if you download it before December 31st and you get it filled out, you can actually keep yourself from being evicted. It doesn't do anything about your rent, though. You still have to pay your rent. You still have to pay your late fees. You still have to pay uh, all that. You have to pay all that. But it, it sets it up to give you the opportunity to pay that. It keeps you in there for a little while longer. And if you sign, if you get it and you sign it before you actually get the eviction notice or the eviction process starts in the courts, all you have to do is just pass that along to your landlord and they have to honor that. But if it goes on to the courts, then you have to, you know, fill it out twice, you know, give one to your landlord, give one to the the clerk of the court so that it can go to the judge. And that way, when you go in front of the judge, the judge just, he would dismiss the eviction case, he won't dismiss the eviction, but he will dismiss the eviction case and uh, give you some opportunity to actually come up with that. But see, they still saying you need to come up with that. Even though it ain't your fault that you don't have a job right now. Even though it ain't your fault that the coronavirus is here. and None of this is our fault. Hell, if anything, I'm, I got to say Trump was right. This was China's fault. This is their Kung Flu. And I know I just sounded racist as fuck. And I know a lot of y'all probably ain't going to like me after I say that shit. But you got to think about it. I don't like Trump personally. I wanted him to be president for four more years so he could continue to fuck up the country. Not help the country. But I didn't think that it would be like this. I'm kind of, now that I think about it, 
with this with the way that it's going out, over two hundred and seventy five thousand deaths. Excuse me, over two hundred sixty five thousand deaths from this virus. I did. I honestly did not think it would be that serious. I knew it was serious, but I didn't think it would be that serious. But it is. Is that serious? So. I am actually glad that they got Trump out of there. I'm not happy about Joe Biden, but I'm glad that they got Trump out of there. At least we can now start moving forward. You know, we'll deal with Biden in four years. If he ain't done what he's supposed to have done these last these these next four years, we'll deal with him then. But I'm glad they got Trump out of there now. I I, I got to say that, I, and I'm not gonna lie. I, I think they played that man, and we're gonna talk about that next Revolutionary Hour next Tuesday. This is why you need to hit that follow button. Don't play. Hit that follow button. S-P- uh, S-P-R-E-A-K-E-R dot com backslash M-R underscore E. Or just Google B-O-S-S radio. You probably are already there. So just hit that subscribe button. Hit that follow button. Because uh, we're going to talk about that. I think they played him. I think they they, 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 they they saw what kind of person he was. It's like, well, we needed a fall guy. <laughs> And if that's the truth, man, Trump walked right into that damn trap. Walked right into that trap. <laughs> oh man, you know when you, you you know that meme when they talk about the bad guy explaining his story, and you like this motherfucker is making some sense. Yeah, I think that's what happened. But back to this package, man. I don't know how y'all feel about nine hundred eight billion dollars and not getting that twelve hundred um, dollar check. You know, me personally, I'm going to make it work. I'm a hustler. Been a hustler. Always going to be a hustler. You know, I'm going to make it work. I got my own business. I got two businesses. And uh, guess what? I'm going to make it work. But I know a lot of y'all don't. I know a lot of y'all can't really afford to start your own business because you don't have the know-how. Don't have the knowledge. I was trying to give y'all that knowledge um, by... Putting these books and stuff in my group pages, but all I can tell you is try try to go to Economic Salvation. Uh, I was I was uh, luckily I was able to get my new Facebook account uh, added to Economic Salvation. All you have to do is answer a couple of questions. I, I wish I would have done that for True Heritage, but I didn't. You know, just answer them, uh, and it should get you in there. Once you get in there, hit the foul button. That you'll see at the top in the persistent header. And uh, just get those books. Download all those books. Learn how to make money, make money for you. You know, learn how to make money, make money. Make money. And then make money on it. You know, uh, it's called compound interest. It's called more than one stream of income. Learn it. Because you see these motherfuckers don't give a fuck about you. You cannot rely on the government. I am, um, in the in the best sense of the word, I am a Republican because I don't want a bigger government. I don't trust them. Look what they did. Look what they did to us. And this ain't just the Republicans. The Republicans ain't the only ones that did that to us. Nancy Pelosi was holding us up at one time because she didn't want to compromise with that 1.8. I understand she thought she had our best interests at heart. But... You let us down because now we have to settle for $908 billion if we can get that through Bitch McConnell. Because this fucker wants to slash that in, almost in half. Who is he trying to help out with $500 billion? Because that ain't going to do shit for nobody, man. I ain't doing a goddamn thing. I don't know. But it is what it is. Like I say, Kentucky, remember this shit in two, in two years because if you don't, I'm going to remember it and I'm going to call for your annexation. Get that motherfucker. Get them motherfuckers up out of here. Hell wrong with them. <laughs> oh, man. I, I, I mean, if it wouldn't been for this tequila tonight, I'd probably be crying about this shit. <laughs> he going to lie about it. I ain't even going to lie about it. I'm going to tell y'all the God on the street. You know. Uh, this is ridiculous. I, I really don't understand how we are at the end of 2020. We at the end of 2020. And we're about to go into 2021 with this fuck shit. Mm-mm-mm. 
Ter- hey, 2021, I told y'all, I need to see some terms and conditions before I agree to seeing you. <laughs> what the fuck you got in store for us? Because obviously you starting off bad. We thought 2020 started off bad. We coming the first day of 2021 is starting off bad. Just like that, huh? Just like that. So, if you know a Kentuckian, or if you live in the state of Kentucky, vote Mitch McConnell out in two years. I'm going to remind y'all in two years. I'm going to remind y'all. I'm going to set my alarm. Two years from now, vote him out. Get somebody in there who's going to work with for the American people and not for... See, y'all said Trump was working for the rich. McConnell is definitely working for the rich. Have you seen his proposal? He said he wanted a more targeted proposal. Yeah, it targets the corporations. Remember how we thought that it was going to it was going to trickle down, the trickle down effect uh when uh Joe Biden came out with these uh, uh the bailout for the banks in 2008, 2009. Remember that? Excuse me, 2009. Remember that? They built out the banks and shit. Remember it was supposed to trickle down? Remember how it didn't trickle down? Yeah, that's what the same shit McConnell's trying to do. He's trying to put the money in the hands of the rich. I guess since they learn they, they learn how to make so much money, he feels that they will know what to do with that money. But McConnell, you don't even know what to do with that money. How are you going to expect somebody else to do that? Why don't you let the senators that actually know what to do with that money do the job, damn job? Since you don't know what the fuck to do with it. Because you damn sure ain't in his $500 billion plan. Let me tell you this. If you lost your job due to the coronavirus, guess what? You're not getting unemployment. If you are about to get evicted, guess what? You That's not addressed at all. What's addressed is helping out the medical industry, which is great. I understand that. We need the medical industry. Is helping out the schools at a fucking bare minimum cost. Damn near nothing, if you ask me. And corporate bailouts. It ain't called that, but that's how it reads. So, what we gonna motherfucking do? We gonna barbecue a meal, dude. Because Trump said he's ready to sign on to Mitch McConnell. You know he don't give a fuck now. He lost the election. He know he lost. He's just acting like the spoiled brat because that's what he do. That's what Trump does. That's what Trump does. If you you don't believe that, I, I psh, come on, man. That's the reason they played him. That's the very reason they played him. Hmm. But I guess that don't matter. Remember that shit, Kentucky. I'm talking to you. Y'all need to remember this shit. I don't know what y'all planning on doing, but. If we don't do something soon, we're going to fall into a lawless society. Y'all going to call martial law. Going to try to lock everything down. And guess what happens then? Guess who we stuck with? Y'all thought y'all was... Y'all thought y'all didn't like him then. What about when we can't get rid of him because he had to declare martial law on January 15th? There is no... No, no concession of power. He, he doesn't have to give up the White House, y'all. Are you peeping game? If you're not peeping game, you ain't trying to. You're really not. And that's what's going to hurt us in the long run. All y'all sleep motherfuckers. But it is what it is. So, I just want to let y'all know that. If it don't go down, this is this is why. It, this is all in Bitch McConnell's hands now. This is all in the state of Kentucky's hands now. Sorry, but not sorry. Lobstar seeing DJ Simpson. I am Mr. Flavor, and I am telling you, Boss Radio plays nothing but the best music. Love into the 
looking at you, you've been looking at me. Come and smile with me, and let's go up to fantasy. Chains of luck, you hold me back. One little book is all it takes. Splash of desire, and I hint on less. Come go with me, let's forget about trust. Feel so good to give in to the rush. Click on me, you'll like on me. If it's good, you message me, let's give in to the fantasy. Can I plug into your syndrome? So I don't know we love Plug into your syndrome. So we can synchronize Love into your syndrome. So I don't know the love Tap into your syndrome. So we can synchronize Plug into your syndrome. So I don't know the love Plug into your syndrome. So we can synchronize Love into your syndrome. So I don't know the love Tap into your syndrome. So we can synchronize Inter outer national My orange car logical Get my function, set my function Put my statement for your body And my loop that's hey. ego body Executed in Why your body you know? Do you like my flow? Binary song is flow And culinary drinks So here we got the card If you do beat me Rock your body Trick your body Swing your body Drop your body Everybody feel to the beat I forget about trust And I swing to the beat And shake out the rest Girl I may not tell my can't tell Not be lost And I might don't let Can I plug into your syndrome? So I don't know the love. Plug into your syndrome. So we can synchronize. Love into your syndrome. So we can synchronize. Love into your syndrome. So I don't know the love. Tap into your syndrome. So we can synchronize. Love into your syndrome. So I don't know the love. Tap into your syndrome. So we can synchronize. Love into your syndrome. So I don't know the love. Tap into your syndrome. So we can synchronize. Love into your syndrome. So I don't know the love. Tap into your syndrome. Auto synchronized, don't overload. Trinity, Kingston, Haiti, San Juan, synchronized, don't overload. Brooklyn, Philly, Daytown, Eastern, synchronized, don't overload. Dakar, Delhi, Sydney, Jogo, synchronized, don't overload. Wine for the future, grind for the youth, just love your body, so don't overload. Little study future, hits for the future, send them make your body wanna overload. Grab on your man, girl, grab on your girl, then synchronize your body, so don't overload. Look at me, yeah, girl, swing it, I mean, yeah, girl, just love your body, so don't overload. Grab the future, everyone is synchronized. Saint, simple, DJ, Bori, Qualley's gonna synchronize. We set the party, we rock the party. FMG, come chill with the family. Work your body, swing your body, drop your body, everybody. Work your body, swing your body, drop your body, everybody. Work your body, swing your body, drop your body, everybody. Work your body, swing your body, drop your body, everybody. Work your body, swing your body, drop your body, everybody. Kiss 
Mr. Flavor, and I am telling you, Boss Radio plays nothing but the best music. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I can't believe my eyes. I truly can't believe that she knows. Go. 
problems now we're apart, baby. We said forever adieu. So how comes now we're through? Tell me. Whatever happened to the love we shared? I thought you said you'd always be there. Broken promises of what we had. Thinking about it just makes me sad. Yeah. About all the sh** you did that made me mad But what about those things that you said? Hey I can't believe I let you leave I must have lost my head Whatever happened to the love we shared? I thought you said you'll always be there Broken, Broken promises of what we had Thinking about it just makes me sad You, you, you Used to be somebody
Russians or something. And I am telling you, Boss Radio plays nothing but the best music.